I've hardly slept. I don't know why you did it, man. I need the money. You should have told us. I could have lent you a few bob. <laughs> How about a few thousand? Find one, then. Whoa! I'm not joking. I owe loads. You too. Credit card company, payday loans. An exam. What have you spent all that on? Seemed like a good idea at the time. But I, I shouldn't have feed that wallet. I just want to give it back. I'll help you with that, man. Look, there's, uh, still got a few hundred left over from Kev. It's yours if you want it. So do you reckon we have to dress up for this thing tonight, then, you are? Nah, it's only Laurel and Marla. Somebody's looking gorgeous today. Ruby, 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 Ruby! Whoa! OK, is it just me, or is he being really weird? Weirder than usual. Oh, come on, you must have noticed it. Odd. Being very odd. April, can I just put this over your head so I can see the length on you, yeah? I don't want to. We don't want you tripping up, do we? I, I think she's just feeling a bit... Hiya! Hiya! Ah. Now, if these aren't perfect, then I don't know what is. <gasps> Ta-da! <laughs> what do you think? Can we go now? Thank you, Auntie Nicola. You can't go to school on an empty stomach. Not going to school. Um, yeah, I said she needn't go in today. I thought we could maybe go for a picnic, give her a chance to, you know, talk things through. But we've got our wedding Yeah, I'll be later. back in time for that. OK. Arthur, can you just turn that down, please? <sighs> Sorry. But... Shall I rustle you up some stuff? No, I'll we'll get something from the calf. I'll see you later. Come on. See you later. Dad, it'll be fine, OK? It's probably a good idea. Oh, hey. Hey. What are you doing here? Are the kids all right? The kids are fine, yeah. How's the hotel? Yeah, posh. Room service costs an arm and a leg, but it was nice to spend some time on our own. You all right? I take it Declan hasn't wrong. No? Good. Um, has something happened? Yeah. I promise you won't hate me. Not really sure how to put this. Oh, will you just tell me? I didn't have a miscarriage, Debs. I had an abortion. My friend Iris is a week younger than me, so when we play schools together, she pretends she's me because I'm five and I pretend I'm Miss Kennedy. Who's the little chatterbox now? I'm not a chatterbox. Yes, you are. You're not at home, though, are you? Hmm? Why are you so quiet in front of Laurel? If you wish for something, does it always come true? It depends what you wish for. How much do you love Laurel? Oh, oh this much. But you love Mummy, too. Very much. I can tell. Can't tell Mummy. She says yes. Made my wish. So all that stuff in the hospital was an act? Yeah. I'm sorry. You went on and on about how much you loved Declan, wanted his baby, wanted to be a good mum. I was terrified that I would mess up again and I just couldn't go through with it. I cried for you. It tore me up. This wasn't easy for me either, you know. And all that time you were lying. Well, I could hardly tell Declan I'd got rid of his kid. Well, could you could I? have told me. Well, I was hoping you'd never find out. And do you know what? <sighs> you wouldn't have done if Mad Megan hadn't gone snooping about. Well, no wonder she was snooping about, Mum. Because you pinned this on her. How could you... How could you have done that? Wait a sec, she still pushed me. Didn't cause a miscarriage, though, did she? Oh, my God. You got him to sign a prenup. Then you married him, and then you had an abortion. Oh, come on, it wasn't a grand plan. And now he's found out. Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Either he knows or he doesn't know. He doesn't. He thinks it was you that had the abortion. Let's start packing up now. Ken, I'm going to play away. You better not, missus. Get me before I fly off there. Ah, you're, 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 you're the spin. You're the fly. Woo! Oh, the baby's name. Woo! 
Where are you? Everybody's here. Oh, it's too much. Oh, I'm holding. Oh, oh. <laughs> Can you give me a call when you get this message, please? Probably just lost track of time. Yeah. Easily done. If you're Marlon. <laughs> I'm sure he won't be long. This is sick. Do you know that? Debs, please, I'm desperate. I'm not doing it. You're asking way too much, Mum. OK, if you won't do it for me, do it for Noah. Oh, come on, this is going to break his little heart if this marriage falls apart, which it will, if Declan finds out that I've lied. And what about me and Pete? What if he finds out? He's going to think that I aborted his baby. He won't find out. Oh, how? How do you know? I'll give you my word. Who's that? Oh, my God, it's him. Oh, my God, oh, my God. He can't know that I'm here. Debs, I am begging you now, just do this one thing for me. Why don't you give him another ring? There's no point, Dad. The thing is, um, I've got a christening at two. Oh, to hell with this. Why don't you step in? Me? Why not? You know the ropes. Uh, maybe we should just hang on. No, Dad's right. Why don't we just do it without him? That's if you don't mind, Ashley. Fine. Anything to help out? Right. If, uh, if everybody can get in their positions. Uh, Doug, Laurel and Nicola, if you could walk down the aisle and then walk back up again, quick as you like, please. Uh, Ashley, you know the drill. And the best man next to him. This is weird. Ready when you are. OK. Uh, one, two, three. Da, 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 da. Sorry, sorry, I'm really sorry. Did the kids behave themselves last night? You're not spoken to your mum then? No. I need to ask you something. Uh, and it's pretty personal. And I feel really awkward having to ask, but believe me, I had my reasons. I'd really appreciate an honest answer. OK. So what's this about? Your abortion. Charity told me she took you to have one. Is it true? A yes or a no will suffice. I don't need details. I don't know what you're talking about. to know the truth, Debbie. I'm telling you the truth. I haven't got a clue what you're on about. Pete will never find out, I swear. Declan, listen to me. There is nothing to find out. I have not had an abortion. Now, I don't know what this is about, but I'm really sorry. OK. To me. You hate me this yeah, I'm sorry, but he deserves the truth. What do I deserve? I'm your mother! Nothing is ever your fault, is it? You haven't just stabbed me in the back here. Do you know what you've done? You've twisted the knife. Are you... Save it! I don't want to know. But thank you for single-handedly destroying my marriage. Oh, but we're all off this morning. Hey? Ruby, 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 Ruby! Oh, I hear that. Sorry. You've got to stop being weird. You're falling over yourself to be nice to her. She has noticed. Still. Oh. I can't help it if I feel guilty, can I? And I don't feel guilty. Yeah, well, you're better at hiding it. I have to. Because if Ruby finds out, she's going to be devastated. Just act normal. Stop gushing over her. She's the thickest two short planks I've supervised a lake. Just managed to slip it in his bag when he was having a flag. How are you feeling? I'm relieved. Thanks. Respect, man. It's over 50 quid in that wallet as well. Still easy come, easy go, eh? Which, however, then, 
What's this trace he got that makes you get up to your eyes in debt and start robbing? She makes me feel good about myself. She's using you, man. It's taking the mick. Yeah. But she's not Rachel. At least I know where I am with Tracy. And I'd rather have a gold digger than a lighter any day. Why'd you put up with it, man? Because I'm sick of folk feeling sorry for us. Or thinking I'm daft. Poor Sam this, poor Sam that. I can hold my head up high when I'm with Tracy. Some of money can't buy. I've got Vic just to do some finger food. Nobody wants to eat at this kind of day. They're just too busy getting bladdered. I'm assuming we're getting a few free drinks for this. But what, all the ladder? Oh, did you get a crate of Prosecco in? Got two, just in case. Oh, nobody told me it was fancy dress. <laughs> what have you come as? Is it fancy dress or not? Cos if it is, then I'm going to have to go out and get some up. Fancy dress? This is the cutting edge of fashion, this is. Right, so, uh, what's its name, then? Cat on your head. They wouldn't know fashion if it whacked them in the face. Do you like it? Do I like it? Jimmy, it's a wig! No, it's not. It's a hair piece. A hair piece? Wig? It looks ridiculous. Really? I thought you'd love it. Are you insane? You don't know what it's like to lose your hair. I might put a brave face on it, but... Every time I look in the mirror, I see a stranger. Makes me look younger, don't you think? But, um, yeah, it certainly makes you look different. You'll get used to it in time. What? Is it so, so it's not just for tonight? Oh, no. From now on, this is me. Gym, then. <laughs> oh, by the way, I've just seen Lauren the Marlon. They'll be here in a second. <gasps> what are you doing? Fine, Brenda. Make sure Apple's all right. Oh, she'll be fine. Unless you'd rather be at home. I'm sorry. Look, there's no point you being here if you're not going to enjoy it. Oh, let's do it. Eh? Hmm. Ready? <laughs> with you, does it? Anyway, as much as I'd like to stay here and chew the fat, I've got a hack party going on. That's made up. <laughs> Careful where you stick that. I wouldn't let her anywhere near me with a sharp object. Not after all that bubbly. And stab. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, if she gets this right, she's got a full house. Yeah, but that's because they are perfect together. Right, last question. Oh. Marlon has every album by which now semi-defunct boy band. I know that. But, that's it! Yay! 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 And you well and truly are, man. Oh, not a single one wrong. I know it makes you sick. That's because it's a match made in heaven. Yeah, unlike you and that troopy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, 
okay, there is definitely something wrong with him. Come here, you. Well, this was a bad idea. Well, it's fine. What are you doing? Seeing if Edpool's all right. Are you all right? Are you going to be all right tomorrow? You do want to get married, don't you? Of course I do. I love her. I just wish I hadn't kissed Donna. It confused everything. That kiss meant nothing. I know it didn't. Why can't I stop thinking about it? <sighs> My heart, buddy, it physically hurts. Every time I look at April, I... Come on, mate. I need a drink. Hey! Been looking everywhere for you, party poop. Oh, yeah, I've, I've got an headache. Oh. Let me go back and enjoy yourself. Nah, not without my little tiger. Anyway, I've got some leftover curry here. All the finger food makes us want to gape. Yeah. Do you, uh, fancy watching Traffic Cops on catch-up? No, not really. OK, cool. Well, once I've had this, I reckon me and you should have an early night. I've slept with Ellie. Come again? A week ago. I'm sorry. What is it? Everything. It should never happened. Look, it was... It was the night before Sean left at the party. She was upset. We'd had loads to drink. We were off our heads, to be honest. We knew straight away it was a massive mistake. I mean... We weren't even together. For all I knew, you were living it up in Alicante. But that's not why I did it. I don't know why I did it. That's the honest truth. You came around straight after, remember? To sort stuff out. I wanted to tell you then. But I couldn't. So much of a coward. Please. Just... Say something. You see that door? Use it. Please. I said, get out. Get out. I'm getting married tomorrow. And all Marlon can think about is Donna. Because she's dead. I can't say anything. <sighs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> he's still grieving. No, it's more than that. The way he is with April is just it's too much. And the thing is that I promised Donna that I'll be her. I'll be a mum to her, but, you know, look after her, but she just doesn't want anything to do with me. Hey. No, please, don't be nice to me. Don't hug me or anything, cos I think I might fall apart. Go on, don't you? Don't you need to go back in? Come on. Let's go back inside together, eh? No. I feel a fraud. Everyone's saying, you know, oh, aren't they perfect together? It's probably just last-minute nerves. You're too kind, Ashley. You're such a good man, aren't you? Maybe 
Maybe I was a fool to let you go. I'm flattered. But you don't mean it. I'm so sorry, Ashley. I really, I'm just, I think I've just, I've just had too much to drink. Maybe I should go back in. Please don't leave me. Be honest. Do you want to marry Marlon? I have to marry him because I've given up too much not to. You either love him or you don't. I don't know how I feel. Well, this isn't just about you. What about the children? Oh, God. what about them? Don't you think they've been through enough? Look, I know this is difficult, but if you have any doubts, any doubts at all, there's only one thing to do. Call off the wedding. Kylie's at her wit's end and starts blaming herself for Max's condition. Coronation Street's next. Brand new celebrity squares at eight. Think of a star-studded version of Noughts and Crosses. And then at nine, back with a brand new series, Leslie Sharp and Saran Jones for Scott and Bailey. Scott and Bailey.